Welcome to MonroeMotors.com. Here we have a 2020 Corvette C8 Coupe 3LT with Z51. This one is painted in Accelerate Yellow with jet black interior. Let's start at the rear of the vehicle. So under the, the rear hood here is where the engine is. So you can see it's the coupe because it has the glass there. So you can see the engine from the outside. And here's the engine itself behind the passenger compartment. It's a 6.2 liter V8 that produces 495 horsepower. This one is paired to an eight speed dual clutch automatic transmission as all C8s are. Coming back behind the engine bay, we have the trunk space. So we have the uh, removable roof in the trunk. It is carbon fiber, so it's nice and light and it's painted body color. Obviously when the, the roof is not in the trunk, you gain all this space so you can put your uh, luggage in there and cargo space. Uh, you can easily fit uh, a golf bag. So just to give you an idea of the space size, close that, it has the soft close. We'll zoom out here so you can see the interior, the top off. Coming back here, you can see it has a rear camera mirror. And here's your engine from the outside. How cool is that? And as we walk back here, we can see it has the carbon flash badge pack. So there's your Stingray. And we have the carbon flash rear spoiler in the Z51 style. Below that, we have the NPP performance exhaust. So that uh, allows you to change the exhaust note from loud to quiet or vice versa, electronically in the cab. It also boosts the horsepower an extra five horsepower, uh, giving you that 495. Coming to the rear wheel here, you can see it has uh, Michelin tires all the way around the car. Uh, we have the five open spoke design wheel painted in carbon flash with the machined outer edge. Uh, we have the black brake calipers uh, and then it's, we also have the Z51 package so you get the performance brakes on there. Uh, rear tire size is a 305 30ZR20. Okay, coming to the uh, front wheel here. You can see the front wheels are larger, uh, or sorry, the brakes are larger, uh, and they also the calipers also say Corvette and Z51 on them. A uh, tire size for the front is a 245 35ZR19, so it's a staggered size wheel. Okay, coming to the uh, interior of the car, we have jet black interior, and we have this really cool yellow stitch on the uh, interior of the car, so that's like a baseball stitch. We have the Bose Performance Series sound system. We got the memory package for the passenger. We got power windows, power locks, and electronic door release. I'll show you the interior on this side, or so the dash on the side here. So you can see the yellow stitching continues throughout the whole car. This is a leather dash being a 3LT model. Uh, glove box is locked right now with the safety feature, but there is an owner's manual in there. Uh, as well as the 3LT, you've got the leather door panels. So that's real leather with 3LT. Coming back to the door jams, you can see they're nice and tidy. The kick plate looks really good. Nice and clean throughout the whole jam here. I'll show you the carpeted floor mats there. The yellow stitching continues there as well. And then we have the eight-way power seats. So you got power bolster and lumbar. Now let's scan the seat here. So you can see the black seat with that yellow stitching seat looks great these are the gt2 seats you can see it has the exposed carbon fiber the whole back is actually carbon fiber we got the corvette flags right in the headrest there and we got the seat belt straps uh, right here i'm going to show you the view over here so right behind the seat you can see it has a window so you can see the engine bay how cool is that uh, and then we have the uh, rear speaker right there in between the seats and there's your wireless charging station for your cell phone uh, being a 3LT, this is all Alcantara, this uh, B pillar here. The visors are Alcantara and the A pillar, as well as the roof panel when it's installed. Close that door there, show you the profile of that rear spoiler. Done the carbon flash. And let's take a walk down the car. You can see with the roof panel off, there's your seats with the yellow stitching. They really stand out. And we have the carbon flash mirrors looks great and then we have the full side skirts with the big uh, aerodynamic triangles there and carbon flash and as we move to the front we have the bright LED headlights and we'll come down here you can see it has the 
front spoiler with the triangles there, really the aerodynamic look. I'm gonna feel down here now. I don't feel any damage, so that's good. We do have front cameras on both sides. And right under the trunk here, see it has the uh, front trunk, has nice and clean. And then our cargo space goes nice and deep. So you can fit some luggage in the front as well. We also have the front plate bracket there. Uh, 12 volt socket there. So that's where you plug your trickle charger in to charge your battery, your coolant fill and your windshield wiper fill here. Let's close the trunk lid. We'll come back here. So this one has the Corvette Stingray R appearance package. So that's uh, this hood decal here. So let's take a look at this decal as we come up here. You can see it's like a skull with the Corvette flags, so the Jake skull. It does say Corvette racing in there. And all these little things here are the Corvette flag. So really cool. And I'm not seeing very many blemishes, no stone chips or anything that I could see on this car. Paint is really shiny, very bright. Let's come to the front wheel here. Condition looks great. And the rear wheel, coming back to the door panel here. So all that yellow stitching, again, real leather. Uh, we have the Bose Performance Series sound system, the memory package for the driver. We got the power mirrors, the power folding mirrors. So I'll hit that there so you can see them fold and back out again. We also have blind spot monitoring, so that'll light up if something's in your blind spot. Then you got your power windows here, power locks, electronic door release, front and rear trunk here. I'll show you the dash on this side here. So that slot there is for your heads-up display. It does have heads up. Here's your uh, door jams, nice and tidy. Kick plate looks great. Nice and clean throughout. I'll show you the pedals, your carpet floor mat, your eight-way power seats, so power bolster and lumbar. We'll scan the condition on this side. And again, the GT2 seats. And there's that engine again. Now let's hop in the car now. Over here we got the uh, vents here, so it's a nice sleek design. Your heads up display controls right here. Just below that we get dash dimming lights here and your electronic parking brake. Over here we got power tilt and telescopic steering wheel. Up on the wheel here, your headlight controls. Here's your paddle shift for your downshift. Z button takes you to your performance pages. Uh, cruise settings here, we got stereo on both sides, uh, heated steering wheel, Bluetooth voice command, and then your aero keys for your digital dash. Here's your paddle shift for your upshift, and then your windshield wipers here. Let's go ahead and start the car. Let's push button start. Okay, we'll zoom out here so you can see that wheel. So it's a black leather wheel. We've got the yellow center point right there. That's really cool. We got the nice bump outs here, and all that yellow stitching continues all the way around the wheel. And in the center here with the leather uh, horn cover with the flags as we come into the digital dash it's fully digital uh, mileage on the left there we got 3682 kilometers so a very low kilometer car coming up to the visor you can see it's the Alcantara like I said uh, with the universal garage door opener we have the rear camera mirror you can turn that off if you like it's a rear uh, light sensitive mirror as well coming down to the 8 inch touchscreen here here's your icons has factory nav I'll show you that here and back home uh, we have Apple CarPlay Android Auto uh, we have your performance data recorder your climate controls front camera so I'll hit that there so you can see your front of your car here and on the side angles here and I like how you can see the, the spoiler really extends out on this one with this model I'll throw it in reverse so you can see it has a reverse camera coming down here is your automatic transmission controls it's like a push pull design uh, M puts it in manual mode so you can use those paddle shifters. Uh, up here we got traction control and we do have the front camera button. And then here we have a mode selector here. It's a dial, so let's come into the dash. I'll turn it all the way. So it starts at weather mode, change it, the dial, goes to my mode so you can customize it. The tour mode, sport mode, and track mode. So you can see all the dynamics change as, uh, as you change that dial. Uh, sport and track you open up the exhaust so it is louder now let's open this up here you got two cup holders here 
And along the watchtower here, you got dual zone climate control, heated and ventilated seats, and all your climate control buttons here. And then down here, we got your console cover. It is leather as well with the yellow stitching. Uh, here's your depth of it with my hand. And we do have USB and auxiliary here as well. Now let's open this door panel, or door, I should say. Uh, turn on the headlights and let's give it a couple revs. Wow, it sounds as good as it looks. That's the nice part of this, these Corvettes. Okay, coming to the front, let's check out those headlights. Nice bright headlights, really match the bright exterior of the car. I don't think the video will do it justice or the pictures. This car really, really looks great in real life. You have to see it for yourself. And all that ground effects down here. Stingray R right on the, on the side skirt there. The carbon flash really looks great with this yellow. If you want to be seen, this is the car to do it. Really exotic looking. Here's your LED tail lights.